All right guys, Rich here from the rcnetwork.com and this video is gonna be a little bit of a teardown video of the Arma Nero 6S BLX. Now, of course, this, this is Arma's giant new monster truck uh, with some pretty unique parts. And in this video, we're gonna be tearing down the front differential and see kind of what you get inside of there. Now, of course, there's been a lot of uh, skepticism and kind of a little bit of unknowing uh, of what's inside of there and how it functions. Hopefully this video will show you exactly uh, how it operates and what it looks like inside. I'm also gonna do some comparisons on some other differentials I have here at the RC Network so you can kind of get a, a size comparison of how large this Arma Nero is. Now in this video, you're gonna need a couple of tools. You'll need a 2.0 driver and a 2.5 millimeter driver to pretty much disassemble everything on the front differential. I haven't quite got to the rear or the center yet, but I can imagine it's probably gonna use the same tools. Um, with this video, I also did uh, one upgrade already. So bear in mind, your Arma Nero may not look exactly like this uh, because I have upgraded the servo and the servo horn. I'll go over that a little bit later in the video. So you wanna go ahead and start unassembling a couple of items on your Nero, starting with the underbelly plate here. Uh, this thing is two, uh, two millimeter hex wrench screws. Remove those and you can pretty much get into the underside of the Nero, kind of exposing all of the electronics and also that center diff there. Now take a 2.5 millimeter wrench and remove those two screws up here on the front uh, skid plate. That removes off and only have one more screw on the underside. And you will have to go ahead and take that two millimeter wrench and you're gonna be removing the um, kind of pin that holds the front drive shaft onto that center diff. And it kind of looks like this little pin here that uh, kind of is famous on some axial vehicles to hold drive shafts on. So once that's removed, you can kind of pull back on that center uh, drive shaft and that's all the work you have to do on the underside of the Nero. Went ahead and flipped the Nero over, put it on a stand so I can work on it. The front bumper right here actually has this kind of nose piece that goes and just fits into the top of the bumper. That just simply pulls out and it exposes two screws back here that you have to go ahead and remove. Once those are removed, the front bumper will just pull right off of it. So kind of a circular design that you know it absorbs impact. Now what's definitely advertised on Arma site is how easy it is to get to the um, differentials. And with that, you will need a 2.5 millimeter driver and you have four screws here on the front bulkhead. And you do have a 2.5 millimeter screw right in the center. One is, that once that is all removed, you can kind of remove that plastic plate that holds on the uh, kind of aluminum plate behind it to hold everything in. You can kind of see that somewhat red anodized plate right there that holds all four of the hinge pins in place just to keep everything sturdy. That thing just simply slides off. Hopefully it's gonna participate with me today. And that is basically that piece right there. Set that aside. Now everything else is pretty easy at this point. So once this is lifted up, this kind of gets in the way. You can uh, remove that if you'd like, but you don't really have to. This piece right here is just simply fitted on and it's the front portion of the bulkhead as my hands are all in the, the shot there. And it's simply just pressure fitted on. So you can kind of see the honeycomb design right there and you'll see that kind of front modular differential in there. Now with that, you do have to take your uh, two millimeter driver again and remove the two front drive shafts off of the uh, axles of the front differentials. It's once again, those kind of uh, pen drives that you can kind of remove, they're pretty easy. I didn't find any Loctite on these. So when I do reassemble, I'm gonna put a little bit of blue Loctite just to keep those in. Once those are removed, these things will just pop right off of the front differential and you can pretty much grab a hold of this front differential and yank it out. Now it is definitely tight in there. There we go. And as you pull that, you are going to be disconnecting that receiver lead that is held on that, that servo wire for uh, the diff brain. So right here, we have the entire assembly right there for the differential. Just unplugged simply, it was a, a female plug inside there that's kind of on the inside wall of the cavity of that twin vertical plate and the whole drive shaft just pulled right out. 
I'm going to go ahead and uh, move the camera around and we'll take a look deep inside of this diff. So once the differential is out, you just basically have uh, three cap head screws here. You can kind of see that I've already pre-removed them. You have these two right there as my magnetic is touching it. And <laughs> uh, you pretty much remove those three screws and you have full access now to that differential. Now what's really unique on this Arma vehicle are these telescoping drive shafts. Uh, they do have um, some telescoping feature. They are spline drived and they, they have all the bells and whistles that you'd want. So pulling that out, you can kind of see the splinedness of it and it just fits simply inside those little rubber boots and into the aluminum portion of that spline. So pretty cool design. So these aren't gonna move too much. The front ones definitely move a little bit more and they have a little bit more mail end going into that aluminum drive shaft. So now that I have the differential uh, kind of somewhat apart, go ahead and take this apart and show you all the inside of this thing. So uh, these differentials are giant. I mean, you can kind of see the micro servo right there. Uh, this actually houses the diff brain. You can kind of see the pins right there and I can kind of manually operate this and you can kind of see the pins going in now into the diff. So kind of awkward that it, the vehicle's not on, but you can kind of see the full throw right there. And then as I push that in, those are the pins going in. So a uh, huge differential. And just to give you guys a size comparison, um, I happen to have a Wraith um, uh, bevel gear. Uh, and this is pretty much the standard size of most eight scale buggies and uh, 10 scale short course trucks. This might be a little bit smaller than eight scale, but you can kind of get a drift here of the sheer size of that Nero. So if this can uh, show you exactly how large that Nero differential is. This all does appear to be hardened steel, um, does not appear to be pop metal at all. So huge, gigantic bearings um, on all of the points here. I mean, those are just absolutely huge. I got my calipers here to show you exactly how large those are. So I measured the out shafts, uh, these guys right here. These are seven millimeter out shafts. I mean, just absolutely huge. This bearing right here, is to give you an example if I can get around it. And yeah, it's like a 22 uh, millimeter bearing. So maybe even like a 23. So kind of eyeballing it right there. But uh, just huge um, beefiness to these differentials. I don't think there's gonna be any issues whatsoever. Uh, the servo appears to be pretty decent. It is waterproof, has like a little waterproof case right there and gasket and um, appears to be working great. So uh, you can kind of see the huge uh, diff um, outputs there. Like I said, these are hardened steel once again, and uh, appear to be seven millimeter. I mean, just absolutely huge. So uh, let me go ahead and get uh, some other things arranged here and I'll show you that new servo. So there's a look at the servo that I upgraded to. Now there was probably nothing wrong with the stock servo. This guy right here, uh, this thing has about 200 ounce inches, a little bit slow at 0.16, but I was having some centering issues to where, let's say I turned it right uh, and returned it to center. It didn't quite go all the way to center. When I turned it left, it was more kind of biased towards the left side then. So, um, you know, probably a, a decent servo to start out with, but I wanna up the ante uh, with a Futaba servo. So went to, um, the new S9372 uh, SV. Uh, this thing uh, cranks out at 341 ounce inches of torque and at 0 0.06 seconds. So a pretty quick servo overall, and it's a great improvement. It is digital, so it's gonna find that center without an issue. So uh, this is a great servo to kind of upgrade to, uh, get you some good uh, uh, steering on this giant monster truck. And I did use a um, low profile uh, ProTech aluminum servo horn, had it laying around here, just added that on kind of not, doesn't make sense to put on a plastic servo horn when you are using such a high torque servo. So um, with that, let's go ahead and uh, crank this thing on and I'm going to pan out and show you how quick this uh, steering servo is. So there we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and adjust the rate out. There we go. So we can see everything. Got my tactic remote on. 
I also adjusted the steering dual rate just so I uh, kind of like a as a an alter end point adjustment for the servo so I'm not ripping it out of uh, the plastic uh, servo mounts that are included with this Nero but here you can kind of see how smooth it is how quiet it is I mean super fast finds that center every single time I got drive shafts down here that are still aren't connected to the front diff but you get the drift here so pretty nice I uh, can't wait to get this thing back together uh, nice showing you guys the uh, differentials here and what's included in the diff brain version uh, pretty cool overall I can't wait to uh, get this back on the road well guys that's it for now if you have any comments or questions about this video please feel free to post it on down below and as always thumbs up and subscribe that's it for now guys over and out